when the guardian angel is near us and when he leaves us behind. The guardian angel also secretly directs his steps to all that is good and keeps him away from evil and sin as much as he is allowed. However, he does not simply stand as a protector of the human soul and body, but becomes a Holy Spirit with the soul, which is why he is in pain and anguish for the soul that was given to him. In other words, the angels are to be, are, uh, have the ordinance of protecting a soul and even t taking that soul after this earthly life through the judgment, through a, a critical evaluation of his actions. There is also, from what I have read from uh, theoretical books, from theological books, that angels also keep a book of our lives. Everything we do, everything we think, even thoughts, are um, good or bad and written in that book of our soul. So the angel comforts in sorrows, also helps in pain, sympathizes with man, leads him to repentance and protects him from visible and invisible enemies. But apart from being the guardian angel of every human being, there are also the guardian angels of the nations, the cities, and the local churches. And uh, in the Old Testament, the book of Deuteronomy, God divides the nations and sets the boundaries of the nations according to the number of his angels. Then St. John Chrysostom observes that God has set up in every city camps of angels to stop the attacks of demons. Finally, St. Hippolytus is particularly clear when he likens the church to a ship with sailors and angels. In ancient times, the archangel Michael was regarded as the guardian angel of the people of Israel. The prophet Hosea saw him in Jericho and heard him say that he was the leader of God's army. Remember in the book of Daniel, the Old Testament, when the archangel Gabriel was talking to Daniel, explaining that the archangel Michael was in Persia fighting against the uh, evil spirits. And when he's finished there, he will go somewhere else. So there is a heavenly realm that is on top of us or around us, uh, uh, doing spiritual battles. And let's remember the book of Maccabees, again in the Old Testament, and they were about 130 BC, when uh, the angels asked uh, the Maccabees, what do you see above your heads? And they said, we see angels fighting with each other. And the angels said to them, yes, you're correct, that's what's taking place. So, um, now back to this. Uh, in the book of Daniel, the archangel Gabriel sp spoke of the archangel Michael, saying, And in that time, Michael, the great prince, shall rise again. Who shall stand up for the children of thy people? Daniel 12.1 And the apostle Judas uh, uh, Thaddeus said, Michael, the archangel, when the devil was discerning, was chosen over the body of Moses. Jude 9 As a guardian of the people, he was also a guardian of the dead body of their leader, Moses. St. John of the, the latter testifies about his personal guardian angel. He says, every time I wished to ascend more into the spiritual life, the angel appeared and enlightened me, unquote. And then St. Basil the Great writes, the angel will not depart from us unless we remove him by our wicked deeds. Just as the smoke drives away the bees and the stench drives away the pigeons, so the Stinking sin drives away the angel who protects our lives. End quote. According to the holy tradition of the Church of Christ, the guardian angel is given to man at his holy baptism. We can understand this fact better than the fifth wish to the catechumens, where, among other things, he says the following. And from bad fantasies, in addition to the guardian angels, God sends man and other angels into his life, men and people around you. God will direct people around you to come and speak to you the proper words that you have to hear. Also other angels, let's remember the book of Tobit, Archangel Raphael appeared to uh, Tobias as an, a man. So a man and other angels into his life to help him, to guide him, and to convert him in his temptations, in the trials of the spiritual warfare which man goes through in this world. Concerning these divine words, St. Paul, the apostle, says, that the angels are ministering spirits sent to minister in the future, inherited, inheriting salvation. 
according to Hebrews 1.14. And, and let's remember what our Lord Jesus Christ told us. Be very hospitable to everybody, every man, because you never know if a person that appears before you could actually be an angel of God. Now, with the, this definition, the Apostle Paul exalts the reasoning of the subjects and comforts the Christians very much because he reveals that God cares for them a lot since the angels who go far beyond man commanded them, uh, they were commanded to serve the salvation of people. But in recap, let's remember that a third of the angels, uh, when God wanted to create man equal to angels, uh, the third of the angels uh, headed by Lucifer uh, was uh, against that. And he had to leave the kingdom of God immediately. And as he left, Lucifer was, of course, the top of the archangels, and he was the one that carried the light of God. And that is why we have icons of Archangel Michael taking the light from Lucifer and saying, we stand well, we stand in our proper faith in God. We stand in fear of God. And, um, and we have to remember that we, as human beings created in the image of God, are to replace these fallen angels. It's not angels that replace angels, or the fallen angels that replace their, their fallen uh, uh, levels. It's humans that replace the fallen angels. That's why they try to interfere and interrupt us from our advancement in spiritual uh, schools, levels, and trying to stop, try to stop us in every way possible sinning either physically, in action, or with our minds. So this is the uh, very job that the angels have to do, trying to bring humanity into the kingdom of God. So I've translated this for you from a Greek article. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.